All right, guys, what's going on? It's Dan from Table Tennis Daily, and today I'm joined alongside ward number 13, Simon Gulzi, in the Ochsenhausen Training Center in Germany. Now, Simon has two new blades out with his sponsor, Cornel. The blades have been named Quest and come in two types, All Plus and Off. Surprisingly with these two blades is that they're both wood, and I thought one of them would at least have been carbon. So I asked Simon how come he uses a wooden blade and not a carbon, which I found quite rare around the top players. A lot of pros seem to be using the carbon blade, and Simon said that he feels he gets a lot more control and touch on the ball, and it helps with his creative shots using a wooden blade. So both these wood blades come in five plies of wood. The only real difference between them is the thickness of the core and the outer wood. So the outer layer of the off blade uses a wood called Oven Collie, which is a harder wood, whereas on the All Plus, the wood is a limber, which is a softer wood. Makes sense with the All Plus, so it's got more control using the softer wood. The core of both blades use Curie wood, with the offensive being 0.4 millimeters thicker than the All Plus. Both these blades have a really nice design with an eagle on the front. As you can see with the off, it's got much more of a darker color because of the wood is different on the outer ply, which we just mentioned, being a darker, harder wood, much more lighter on the All Plus. And both these blades feel really comfortable to hold. They've got a nice, smooth finish. The lens is nice and smooth as well, so it sits well in the hand. It doesn't really distract you when playing. And the weight is really surprisingly light. This All Plus weighs 78 grams, with the off weighing 81 grams. So these are really light blades, with Cornell recommending the average blade for the All Plus is around 80 grams, and the average weight of the off is around 85 grams. Me and Simon both use the Cornell Target Pro rubbers on both sides of our blades. Enjoy the review. All wood blades are designed for optimal control and feeling and the Gauzy Quest blades both possess these attributes in abundance. This fantastic level of control helped me especially when blocking Simon's relentless forehand topspins. I was really taken aback by the amount of control both blades gave me whilst maintaining a good speed. This was especially apparent with the Quest off. <laughs> As you can see from the footage, Simon's backhand is incredibly fast and direct. I have used and reviewed a lot of carbon blades recently. This wood blade reminded me how much more control and feel you get on the ball with an all wood blade. Simon's backhand away from the table was extraordinary, even better than it looks on TV. I felt confident on my backhand side, especially when playing punch shots, I could hit through the ball with good quality. Oh, nice technique. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm happy about the combination. Um, I, I had to work with Cornu a lot about it. Uh, they proposed me some um, some composure, uh, how to compose this blade. Uh, I, we they were uh, proposing like uh, over again, over again, Cole. Mm -hmm. uh, for the for the plies at the top, and uh, I thought that was a good idea. And um, yeah, I just think it fits good to my game, especially because I have this kind of game with many many variation. Um, I'm playing with touch, with speed, with power sometimes, and uh, I think that's a good combination for me for my game, especially because I can feel I'm good from behind. Uh, I can have some power, some touch, especially I can you know, make my tricks like yeah, yeah. it's a bit on the side of the ball and uh, I think it's good for my game. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you need, a, you need a blade that's got a lot of control and feeling as well? And Especially, yeah. yeah. It's very important for me. I mean, I like to... I'm not this kind of guy who take the ball very early. Mm -hmm. I, can do, I can do that sometimes, but with that blade, um, 
I'm just feeling free to do whatever I want. I'm just, I'm not saying, okay, I'm back, I'm back uh, from the table. I'm, I'm not gonna win the point because I have no power, or I'm not fast enough when I'm close to the table, or I cannot do my 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 side blocks. And um, yeah, for me, it's a, it's a good combination. Here, Simon is doing two backhands and two forehands, ripping the ball with ease. Sorry. That's a signature shot. <laughs> that I was talking about about power. I mean, I like to to have some spinny shots, and and in, in the same time, I'm not feeling like powerless when I'm trying to play strong. You know, and that's the good thing about that blade. That I just love the combination about spin. Control and power. I can I can involve in the ball. Yeah, which is really important to have that balance, right? Yeah, especially yeah, especially in my game, I would say. When you, we have this kind of players like Di who is playing 95% very strong. Yeah. But I'm not that kind of player, so yeah, good for me. Playing backhand and forehand topspin from close to mid distance worked very well. I felt I could stay relaxed and really swing through the ball without having to worry too much about it going off the end of the table. I could create good amounts of spin when finally brushing the ball during topspin play. And the quest off also gave me that great accuracy when it comes to ball placement. Sometimes I struggled on higher balls. I couldn't get the balance of playing with maximum power it was probably due to me overforcing the ball, worried of Simon's incoming attacks, which put me under lots of pressure. Perhaps it's also because I'm used to a carbon blade where I get more power without as much effort needed. Here I am blocking Simon anywhere on the table. He told me to make it very difficult for him. Obviously it's because he realized that I'm a world-class player and wanted to take this opportunity to get some training in with me. Oh, I had it! Come on, sorry. Yes! How can we return that? So nice. much feeling. <laughs> sorry. You can see here on this point, my ball is really spinny. This is one of my strengths, but with that blade, I'm not losing anything about that. <laughs> Do the fan Zheng Dong he did against you. <laughs> the dwell is superb with this blade. When playing open ups, even though the outer wood pliers are using Ovan Collie, Ovan Collie being a relatively hard wood, yet it still allows the ball to sink into the blade and catapults it with great spin. This harder outer wood helps during the fifth ball follow up attacks. Once again, even against Simon's heavy top spins, the blade gave me time to feel the ball back onto the table. Although I did need to use quite a closed bat angle and delicate touch. Yeah. Ah, yeah, you're lucky.
That's how I can build my game also sometimes. Against top players it's not always the best to play always spinny. But I like I like it a lot because if I can make a very spinny one, low, short, they cannot control spin so easily. And then have a good ball to attack there behind. Yeah. Yeah. On your service you're getting lots of spin. Yeah. So it's very heavy spin. When I started to play with these uh, cornea rubbers, I felt like, oh okay. I, I didn't expect that there would be so, so much speed, so much speed with it, and uh, I was a bit afraid to change the blade because my old blade was good for this, and then I didn't feel any difference. Um, I'm still uh, attacking the ball very easily, quite hard and um, soft touch at the same time. So yeah, that's good for me. Guys, we're halfway through, and Sam sweating so much he's had to yeah. change his t-shirt. And that makes me sweat so much. I'm, I'm struggling a lot, but that's good. Come on, I'm still in my same t-shirt, it's all good. <laughs> like Simon mentions, it's easy to create a good amount of spin with the Gauzy Quest off blade. You get a lot of time on the ball due to the ample dwell. I found a lot of stability with the backhand open ups. I can accelerate with a lot of racket speed and confidence. No way! Yes. He played that way unbelievable! He deserves this point, sorry guys. Yeah, not fair at all. Similar to the backhand open up, the all wood quest off blade helps with gripping the ball when playing backhand flicks over the table. When I took my time and managed to read the spin on Simon's serve, I got a lot of rotation on the ball, which helped to set me up for my next shot. <laughs> oh. oh, he's feeling good. He's feeling good now. Oh. Ah, good. No, 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 no. Don't miss. Don't miss. Be focused. Oh. Yeah. Oh. 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 Yeah. Now, nowadays, Every player, almost every player in the world, they're using the backhand flip, the backhand banana, how was, was you call it. And uh, I mean, that's part of my game. I mean, I'm receiving maybe 80, 85% that way. And uh, that's very important. That was the one of my requests to Corneo, that I still had to have this, this pin, this power, and this, uh, this ball going over the net and going down again very fast. And that's what I asked about the blade. And uh, I found it totally with that blade. When you're serving, uh, when you're playing a down speed service, I'm just trying to play to beat the lowest I can from the from the table, from the 
from that area and then to put my wrist behind uh, in front sorry to put my wrist in front and then to go really under and then to have a very very strong action when i'm touching the ball and uh, that's a little bit the same when the ball is up spin but i'm just trying to be over i'm just trying to be over it's the same when you're playing when up spin i'm i'm trying to be low but higher than the ball mm -hmm. and then when the ball is in my racket i'm it depends. You're also trying sometimes to play a spinny one, sometimes a fast one, and uh, that might change all the game because when you're playing a fast one deep in the back end, maybe you're trying to avoid your opponent to, 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 to step around on that ball. And yeah, that's uh, always the, the good combination to find. At the beginning, it's, I wouldn't say relaxed, but r much more relaxed than when I'm touch the, touching the ball. When I'm touching the ball, I'm really, it's really stiff, very hot. And, uh, Especially when the ball is under spin, it's under spin because you have to, to put that ball over the net when the ball wants to go under the net. Yeah. And that's why you have to really to, to play very strong with your wrist at the moment when you're touching your ball. I had loads of control on my counter top spin. Even though Simon was loading the ball with ridiculous amounts of spin, the ball does not shoot off the bat like you find with carbon blades, which tend to be much stiffer and more reactive. The Gauzy Quest off makes counter spinning much easier and I surprised myself quite a few times on how well I could perform these shots with this blade. I will, I will try to put a lot of spin and you can go, I don't know, I try to make like normal counter spin. You will see how it is. Very good. That's good. Perfect. You can't miss! So consistent. You can't miss. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Here we both gave out everything in top to top. It got a little competitive. Serving with the quest off is a breeze due to the dwell that its all wood construction provides. Here are some examples of someone serving to me. The amount of spin was insane. Here are a collection of open points between me and Simon. Thank <laughs> you. 
Conclusion I had a great time filming with Simon Gowsey in the brilliant Oxenhouse and Training Centre. As you can see from the review, we both had a lot of fun. I was very impressed with the Guzzi Quest off blade. I really like the feeling and control it gives you. The weight of the blade is very evenly balanced when paired with the average weighted tensor rubbers like the Keneal Target Pro, which we used in the review. Some players may prefer a heavier blade for more power. However, I found it really comfortable for my topspin game as I quite enjoyed the variation of the shots I could play with it. The Guzzi Quest off blade is noticeably slower than your average ALC carbon blade, for example, although it makes up for this in the control department where it really excels. Hi guys, here we are with my two blades. We have the off, the Simon Gozzi Quest off, and the all plus, uh, two different blades with a similar design. Uh, there is one, the off I'm using at practice at the moment and soon in tournaments, uh, which is a bit harder, a bit faster, a bit heavier than the all plus, which is uh, more adapted to the young players. Very affordable blades as well. And um, yeah, I'm really happy about the design and, and, and the blades uh, Corneo did, especially with all plus for the young players. It's, I think it's more adapted to the young players. And uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the, the base Corneo and, and I produced. I was often blocking for Simon as he put me under lots of pressure, yet I was still able to contain most of his shots. This attribute of the blade, I think is its strongest point. Its feeling, touch and control is really outstanding. I did find on some occasions that when I wanted to go for an all out attack, I was quite limited with the blade's speed. This is again because the quest off is a wood blade tailored for spin and variation based players rather than for those with an all out attacking game. As noted before, close to the table backhand punch and counter topspin shots are easy to execute with this blade. This helped my style of play, giving me good consistency. For players starting out or looking to develop their game, the Guzzi Quest All Plus is a high controlled solid all round blade. The soft limber pliers give you that great control and feel. The off is more suited for all round attacking players who value control and spin over extreme speed. The off is definitely faster and more direct than the All Plus, which is slower but gives you even more control and dwell time. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. Also check out our equipment review center where you can review equipment yourself. Keep an eye out for our one set showdown between me and Simon and also a video on how he does the strawberry shot that will release soon. Thanks for watching. I'm so sorry. I'm <laughs> <laughs>